Hello there, you're watching Danceki, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to remove noise from your audio clips in Adobe Audition. Now, we don't normally do Adobe Audition tutorials, but this is invaluable, something I learned recently to help clean up my audio. So if you use Adobe Audition or Adobe Premiere Pro, then we're going to cover that in this tutorial, and I definitely recommend watching it because it's really, really helpful. So let's jump into Adobe Audition. And I'm going to start by going to File, down to Import, and I'm just going to navigate to my audio file and open this in Audition. And you'll see I've left some blank space at the start and the end of the recording. This is deliberate because this, if I play this through now, is silence but you can hear a little bit of a hum. That is some of the background noise being picked up by the microphone. The microphone that I'm using is the Rode SmartLav Plus. And it's a really good little microphone if you're on a budget, but it does pick up some noise. So what we're going to do is use the time selection tool at the top here. And we're going to drag over this space where I'm not talking. And what we're going to do is we're going to tell Adobe Audition, hey, this space where I'm not talking, but there's a little bit of a hum, this is noise. Please, can you remove it? And Adobe Audition is going to go, yes, absolutely. I'll remove this for you right away. So once we've made that selection, we're going to click within this white space and go capture noise print. So that's us saying, this is what noise sounds like. And we can click anywhere to deselect this. And if I just press spacebar, you can hear me waffle on about a quick brown fox and a lazy dog. And if you'd like to follow along with this tutorial, then I will link this audio file in the description. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So I will waffle on for about 25, 30 seconds. But if we go back to the beginning, and now we've captured the noise print, we can go to effects, noise reduction, and noise reduction process. And it brings up a dialog box like this. Now, for you audio experts, I'm sure you know far more about this than I do, but as a little bit of an audio newbie, this is a very quick and easy way to clean up your audio in Adobe Audition or if you use Premiere Pro as well. So the noise reduction by default is typically set somewhere around 50. And I found that bringing this up to 90 or even 100% just completely reduces the noise. And the spectral decay rate is at 65% by default. And by bringing this down to somewhere around 10 or 11% is another way that I found really helps clean up the the, uh, the audio and the noise in the audio. So depending on your audio that you're using, you might need to adjust these specifically for it to work for you. But what you can do is you can play the audio at the bottom here with the play icon. You can set whether you'd like it to loop once it reaches the end and you can turn it on and off. So you can hear it like this, your original audio and if you toggle it on so it's green, it will play it with all of these changes that you've applied here. So we've increased the noise reduction to 90%. We've adjusted the spectral decay rate to 11%. And if we go select entire file, so we've got the entire file selected, what we can do is then click play and play through the audio. And what I'm going to do is that while we listen to it, I'm going to turn this on and off just so you can hear the difference. Okay, let's do this. So that's the noise you can hear in the background there. That's what it sounds like now. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox can't believe he jumped over the lazy dog. The lazy dog can't believe that the quick brown fox jumped over him. Both the quick brown fox and the lazy dog are in complete disbelief. So you can hear that little hum and then it's gone. So hopefully then, if I recorded this correctly, you could hear the little humming in the background, the noise picked up by the microphone, and that we had successfully removed it. And we can go ahead and click apply once we're happy, and it will apply those changes. And we can then go file, save, or export file, choose a location, and we've got lots of different formats here. Click OK, and voila, your file is exported. Now, I mentioned Premiere Pro earlier. Let's switch over to Premiere Pro. I've added the audio file to a timeline. If you'd like to clean up your audio in Premiere Pro without having to go into Audition and then export it and all this nonsense, what you can do is simply right-click your audio and go Edit Clip in Adobe Audition. 
It will load the audio into Adobe Audition. You can make your changes, remove your noise, select file, save, close it down, and it will automatically update those changes in Adobe Premiere Pro. And there we go. If you're a bit of a newbie like me when it comes to audio, then hopefully this is a quick and easy way to just get rid of that noise from your audio so it sounds nice and crisp. So as always, guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.